Hi guys, it's Blackie for Shaman's Forge Woodcraft. Okay, on the haversack, I did dye the haversack. Now, as you recall, I tried dyeing it originally with red clay, which normally dyes very well. But in this case, due to the material, it didn't want to die. And so I did a spot dye with a standard writ type dye that you pick up, you know, for, you know, you want to dye your blue jeans blue again type dye. And it did not want to take either. So I searched around and I found this synthetic dye that's for dyeing polyesters and stuff like that. And it did dye it, not as dark as I wanted, but it is usable now. There you go. Now what it is, it's a green, kind of a bright Kelly green, which I kind of like personally. And it's also, you can still see the model color of the red clay from it. Now I'm pretty sure the camera's not going to pick that up. But it did work. And this is more of a natural color out here than it's going to be with um, bright white. And I'm pretty sure that a little bit of dirt, a little bit of time, a little bit of work, and it'll blend right in. Now, notice how puffy that thing is? There's a reason for that. Now, let me answer a question that was brought to me by one of my subscribers. And he said, why don't you just carry a rucksack? Well, I do. In fact, I honestly, I prefer a rucksack for most of my woods loafing and, and traveling and trekking stuff. It's just handy to sling it off my back, get what I need, and sling it right back on. And when I'm going through thick cover and stuff, it's normally not that big a hindrance. However, there are times when it will be a hindrance, especially when I'm trying to scout into areas for future hunting blinds or things like that. And we're talking really thick stuff. A rucksack on your back gets in the way. Excuse me. So a haversack would just be more practical. Plus the fact I'm not going to go camp. I'm not going to shoot videos. I'm going for me. And therefore I just want something light that I can run in there and do my job and then get out with. Pretty simple and easy. So the rucksack to me is a light scouting pack. It's something that's going to carry just what I need and nothing else. Um, and it'll allow me, especially when I'm going fishing, when I'm going just an afternoon hike, I'm just walking. I want something I can grab and go and will carry my emergency supplies in it, but at the same time will not be an encumbrance to me. So that's what I'm looking for with this. And let me adjust the camera and I'm going to show you why this thing's so puffy up top and why I chose this haversack. Okay, stay with me. Here's my haversack. Now, what really impressed me about it was the design of it and the flap. Now it has the, like I've showed before, the simple cinches that hold it in place. And these may be replaced with leather later on. Now right here in this big main pocket, I'm carrying the stitch gears tender bundle as my fire kit, ready to go. Trapping underneath that, I'm putting my uh, candling device, which is a flashlight slash lantern, a sharpening steel, and my first aid kit. That's trapped at the bottom of that by this wedging in there, nice and snug like it does. It won't move around, and I've got a complete fire kit in there. And I've gone over that in the past. We may do it again in the future. Just like that. Now, the shelter question was something that I bounced back and forth with. I had been using emergency space blanket, the uh, reusable kind with some basic stuff. But I've changed, and crossways in the bottom of the haversack, I've got a U.S. Army poncho with stakes. i got stakes, ropes, everything right there. So this is rain gear, and it's also a sheltering device at one time. Now, the big top flap. I can put all kinds of stuff in here. Emergency space blanket folds up, slides in, whatever. But this is actually large enough what I've got in here is an entire Wooby poncho liner. Fits into the lid quite easily. So with this and the poncho, I also got a sleeping bag. A fairly water resistant sleeping bag. 
and plenty of room for my other gear in here. Now, what this accomplishes for me is I have emergency overnight gear. I have emergency rain gear. I can set up a shelter with this. I will also add into this a uh, trash can liner for a ground cloth in case of emergency. I may even slide a uh, some other, uh, maybe a cut off piece of a sleeping mat in here as a little pull out and put on the ground to sit on. But it makes it a very quick and easy set and it's not very encumbering to carry. Very compact and easy. Again, I'm gonna tote a rucksack if I'm planning on spending any time, you know, spending the night or whatever. But as far as a quick expeditionary, this will work just fine. It provides all my needs and it easily fits everything that I need in the bag. Since the way the flaps on this is overlap, you just push it in, reach in, grab the other side, push it in, push them together, and voila. Mash some air out of it. And you have a system. Pretty neat, right? So, this is my new haversack. This is what I plan. Sorry about the dogs, guys, but Sir barks a lot, so over in that back corner, and he loves to bark. Um, this is going to be my haversack for 2018. I'm going to give it a good run. I may reinforce the strap with some leather. We'll see if it needs it or not. I may change out the bottom two uh, closure straps, go from canvas over to um, leather. We'll see if it needs it or not. We'll see how it holds up. And, uh, but I think it will serve my purpose. I can even take my uh, Marine Corps two-sided tarp will fit in the top lid if I need to change that out instead of the Wooby. Right now it's winter, and if I get caught out there due to mechanical injury, if, it, let me clarify that. The reason I would resort to using this would be A, mechanical breakdown in my vehicle and I'm stuck. I've got something in my truck for that. So this is a problem where I've hiked in there a couple of miles into the uh, Kaneka Wilderness area or whatever and broke a leg. Uh, something's happened. I you know, went down a bank. I've got hurt and I can't get out and I've got to hunker down and wait for help to come to me. That's what this bag is. This gives me the ability to take care of me and buy time. Or if suddenly some sort of weather comes up and I'm pinned overnight, I have the ability to live fairly comfortably during night what's going to be in this bag. Just my two cents worth, guys. Any uh, questions or comments, please leave below. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.